what you're looking at here is my Dreamforce payroll and you can see when I scroll down it goes all the way down to row 72. Now before I go ahead and print this off I want to see what it looks like so I don't waste any paper in case if there's something that doesn't fit quite right onto one page. So to take a look at the preview come up here and click on the file tab go backstage and go down to print because over on the right hand side is the preview before you hit the print button. And you can see here, let's see, it got all that it could on page one. So I have page two, click on it, goes right to it. By the way, as a shortcut, instead of toggling through hundreds of pages, you can actually click inside of the uh, spin box here and type in one, hit enter, and it goes back to page one. And you can just go ahead and click print. Um, but before I do that, I want to tweak it just a bit. The grid lines are not printed by default, neither are the column or row headers. And if you want those printed, so it's a bit easier to, well, navigate through the rows here. Let's go ahead and click back and come over here to the page layout tab. Go to the sheet options group and there you go. We can view them here or you can not view the grid lines by unchecking it. Let's check it and say that we want to print the grid lines as well as print the headings. When you hover over the print box in the pop-up it says these are row headings and column headings. And check those and then before I go ahead and go backstage, Notice that after I go to the print preview, you get this dashed line going down between columns J and K. Well, that gives you an idea when you click on print preview exactly what's going to be scrolling onto page one. And so if I had something in column J, that's fine. But if I go into column K, that's going to be shifted over to page two. And when I scroll down to, there we go, right where the page break is here between 50 and 49. Lance Boyle is going to be on page two. And you can control the page breaks if you want to go ahead and have, let's see, Kyle Purple on page two and start there. But we'll do that in a later training video. Let's go ahead and come up here and click on File, go down to Print. Hey, there we go, because we checked the boxes to include the row headers and the column headers here and also the grid lines. It doesn't look too bad. And then down in this lower right hand corner, you got the zoom button to zoom in so you can get a closer look and then click on it to zoom out to get the overall view for each page and it looks pretty good go ahead and click print and away we go thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my microsoft office training videos